Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm back with a review. I actually got some product from Ataza in December, and because of my busy schedule, and because I was having difficulty with my Silhouette Cameo 3 cutter, I am just now getting to this video. But I asked Ataza to send me something that I could work with my cutter, and they sent me some self adhesive vinyl sheets. And I first want to just show you that they came in this box that I just used the slit to open. And I like Orteza's shipping and packaging because I never get anything that's damaged from them and I like that. But this is the actual box. It's 42 sheets of self-adhesive vinyl and it's the premium brand. And I also like their packaging because even on the box it tells you on the back what colors are included and the actual color names and these are 12 by 12 sheets and so it's the basic size that will fit into my silhouette cutter here so I, they sent me that and in addition under a separate shipping this box also came it was inside of a brown box and I've since thrown that away just to get rid of the bulk here but they sent me, in addition to that, 12 foam boards. And they're their brand, they're their premium brand. They're white and they are 20 by 30 inches. So here's the measurements down here. And so I have already taken one of those out just to have it here and then a the nice thing about foam boards is that you can do so many things with these you can make design walls with these or uh, design boards you can also use them for framing things so a lot of things that you can actually do with this so what I did just to get my cutter tested is that I went ahead and just made me a little motif with my monogram and this is actually what I made on here and then I can cut this out and use this but what I thought that I would try to do today is make a sign here that says patterns for sale and I can use this and put on a stand when I do my lectures or uh, have booths at places so I first need to go and make my design in my silhouette which I have not done yet so I'll do that and then other things that I'm going to need for my silhouette of course I'm going to need the machine I'm going to need a mat and I'm just going to use this mat that's been ate up by silhouette I'm gonna use it until I feel comfortable with the machine so you need a mat to cut on you're going to need some transfer tape and I like this kind with the lines on it you may need a pair of scissors to trim. You're going to need a picking tool of some sort. And I think that is all that you need for this project. Of course, I've got the vinyl from Orteza and I've got the foam board from Orteza. my light glaring here but you can probably barely see that I have
did some cutting and what I also did was I cut a rectangle around so that I could peel off just this square together so the first thing though that I want to do is I want to remove my vinyl from the sheet so I'm going to turn it to the back and let's hope that I did not cut through the vinyl sheet the backing piece and if I see where it's trying to come up, I'm going to try to push it down. I cut at a force of two, but it looks like it still did some cutting. So we are just going to do what we can here. This is the part that's hard for me. And I may need to use my pick. To push down pieces I don't want to come out because my cut pieces are trying to come out and I don't want that so I might need a different force but like I said I cut with just a force of two and I use my auto blade and I can still see where some of this is wanting to come up so it's going to take some patience to pull this off as well so it kind of cut through my paper a little bit but at least it didn't cut through my mat so this is a start a great start for me So I'm going to go off camera and finish this because I can get at a better angle to get this a little easier and I'll be right back. So I'm back with my vinyl and like I said I cut around here just so that I could pull this box out of the center. So all I need to do is take my tool, get up under this on the inside and then I can pull. So this is called weeding the vinyl and then this whole piece will come up just be careful And so this right here is all negative background and I think what I'm going to do is put it back on the paper so I'm just going to temporarily rest it here so that it doesn't stick because I can make smaller pieces out of that. And now, oops, my peak came off so I need to just put it back into position here. And what I want to do now is weed the pieces that are in my ladders that have an inside piece so like this E here and I am just going to use a scrap piece of paper for that you can also just put it on your skin to get rid of it but I'll use the paper So now I have 
my complete unit cut out and now what I want to do is just cut off my excess piece of vinyl I'm actually going to keep this for another project so I just want to cut that off and like I said my P cut all the way through so I will trim that So now we're ready to use our transfer paper and we want to actually put our transfer paper on top of this so that it catches all of the pieces that are on the paper here. So you just want a piece that's bigger so you've got some room to move, hold it. So I think I'll cut it this line. And I need to just cut this excess piece off from the last time I used this. Okay. So I want to put this on here like so. And I want to have a little hanging off so that I can have some edges to pick it up. So I am just going to go ahead and peel this off. And what's really nice about this transfer paper is that it has lines so when you go to stick it down you can line up exactly with your lines on your paper. So I kind of have the camera in front. I'm going to slide this down just a little so that it's in front of me. Okay, and then once you put this on here, you want to varnish it. You can actually use like a squeegee of some kind. But for uh, big things, I find just rubbing it with my hands work as just as well. And my little diamond is not on there. So I'll have to place this. I just noticed that it came out of position. But maybe we can just slide it right back up in here. So normally if you were selling uh, this, you would trim around and make it pretty. But since I'm just going to use it right away, my next step is that I'm just going to go ahead and just peel this up. And it comes right off of the paper. So I've got a few spots that didn't peel up and that's where I had my P which came completely out so I'm just going to peel that off and then of course where I had my little exclamation point 
that did not come off okay so now we have our decal or shall I say our sign and I'm just going to pitch the backing and the scrap fabric paper so now I'm back with my foam board and I don't have to worry about where I'm going to place this because I'm going to be cutting it out later so I'll be drawing a line that's parallel with my letters and notice that my transfer paper as I was moving stuff into position it got stuck on itself so I have to unstick it but it'll still work here and so I just want to basically place this on my foam just place my piece down And then again, you're going to varnish this down and you can use like some kind of a squeegee. But since this is not very tiny, I'm just going to go ahead and use my hand. And I see that I'm about to run out of battery as well. So we're just going to pull this and then I will just trim it up later. And I'm just going to use an X-Acto blade to trim this. So once I've varnished, I can now peel back. And as I pull back, you can see where my vinyl is staying in position. And if this was like a more manageable piece of vinyl, I'm sure that you could use it as well. I got a little bubble right here at my E and I'm going to push it out right there. And that's where my pattern got stuck. But isn't that just beautiful? Just love it. I can't wait to play and learn how to do like two color designs. I've done a two color design long, long time ago when I first got the machine. And since I was having so much difficulty, I haven't used it a lot. I do receive income from Orteza if you purchase. I will leave a link down below that you can get these products. And uh, I would like to know what you create with them. So let me know. If you watched this video to the end, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you haven't hit the notification bell. Go ahead and hit that notification bell because it will let you know whenever I go live, whenever I upload a video. So that's it, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.